This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. So right now we've got a share, this graphics depth share. If we look inside it, I've got some folders and documents here. So we've been instructed that this special docs folder, we want to restrict it. Because right now, if we look at the permissions of our, our share here, if we go to sharing, advanced sharing, permissions, we can see everyone can read. And if we look at our NTFS permissions, we can see the users have the ability to read and execute and read. So pretty much anybody that can log in and authenticate can read all the documents that are in this share but we need to lock down this special docs folder so let's do that I'm gonna right click on it and go to properties let's go to security and we're gonna change the NTFS permissions because remember when you're accessing it through the share you need both share permissions and NTFS permissions so we're gonna edit this and first we actually need to go to advance and disable inheritance because it's currently inheriting and now let's go to edit so I'm going to remove the users. So now just administrators, Steve Smith, uh, the system and creator owner have the ability to view and modify these files. So let's click OK. So let's see what happened here. Let's go over and log in as Larry Wilkins. OK, you can see I'm logged in as Larry Wilkins on another computer. Let's access that share. There it is okay so I can get in just fine oh, that's good now can I get into the special docs folder no I can't so we have locked it down so that's good but you'll notice even though I don't have permission to this special docs folder I can still see that it's there and that might not be what we want uh, you know if we know it's there well then you know for a malicious user we might try to get at it but it would be nice if a person didn't have permissions to a folder or files then they wouldn't be able to see them through the share path. Well, that's called access-based enumeration, and we can en enable that on a share pretty easily. And we're going to use Server Manager to do it. So I've got my shares selected in Server Manager. Let's right-click, go to Properties, go to Settings, and check the box for Enable Access Enumeration. We also have another option down here to encrypt data access. When enabled remote file access, this share will be encrypted. This secures the data against unauthorized access while the data is transferred to and from the share. So that's another option we have. But for access-based enumeration, we've enabled it. Now let's take a look at what it looks like. Okay, I'm on server 03. You can see I'm logged in as Larry Wilkins. So Larry Wilkins, we know, doesn't have access to that folder and now you'll notice hey it doesn't even show up so before we could double click on it it would tell us access denied now if we don't have permissions to access it then it won't even show up so that's access based enumeration 